years is that the whole thing is disheartening. Having sat for 35 years, and you see your younger ones that are coming out of the system just yet today, I didn't pay this money. Hello, my great and wonderful people. We welcome you once again to our today's episode of this program. And today we get this message for our team. We're going to be saying one quickly review to Una concerning the things we're going to be saying if they happen right now for inside this country, Nigeria. Before we bring you the full video from the introduction, you get this uh, message we're going to be saying with the receiver presently from uh, this group of bandits when ABC they don't send across to the farmer of uh, Beneguari. Just as you all already they are west, a farming season, don't they? They close for Nigeria. And this group of bandits don't already roll out their own levies to the farmers of Beniguari community. The levies only basically they need to pay in order for them to farm. Listen to the title of this very message. You will understand the reason why it be say all of us they cry. Say, may we stand up. To our responsibility. We know if we continue like this. The title of this one is Farming season, not the day close. Bandits don't roll out a levy of 12 million naira for the farmers when we see the day for Beniguari community. Just imagine. The country when we see government day. Now, in bandits, they roll out levy, which is without this 12 million naira, the farmers. For Beni Gwari community, no will feed farm for this season. In order for them to farm for this season, they must first of all pay 12 million naira. And at the end of this 12 million naira, when they say they will pay so, the products when they say they will harvest at the end, will see, they will see divide and share and between the cells and the bandits. This one, a country when they say yes, government day. And remember, say this Beni Gwari. Or Beni Gwari, when they talk about so, not be outside Nigeria, na Nigeria territory. Abi, all right. Maybe we do small reading. I believe so you will understand much better. And before we go ahead, we want to beg you for one favor. I beg, help us to like this video. Now, the only way we want to be say, YouTube will firstly recommend this video to every Nigerians. May we understand what they go on for inside this country. Now, their policy not be our fault. Because the more like this video gets, the more they recommend them to every one of us. Not be our fault, not their own policy, not it be that very one. Thank you so much for your understanding. All right, maybe we do small reading so that we will understand the details of this message. And as we put our hand there for inside this matter, the comic us understand, say, some group of bandits don't give order to some communities for Beneguari local government area for Kaduna states. Tendency, if they must carry out farming activities for this season, it's going to be said if they come so, they must make sure say, they pay 12 million naira to them. And still on top of the matter, the contour said the man going to be said that they call Isaac Usma Kassa, going to be the chairman of Beneguari Emirate Progressive Union, going to be said that they call BEUP. For inside his statement, he go ahead to explain said the bandit they don't threaten the farmers uh, for this very community say they will put their life at risk if they go ahead uh, to say they want go they do their own farming without it be said they don't pay this sum of 12 million naira to them and as we put our hand deep again the contour say according to the statement the bandits they inform some farming communities when they say they include kwaga kwana shehu and also Ogwawa Lima and uh, Ogwawa Shekwaru to pay levies when they say it amounts to 12 million naira. And if they divide them between these very communities, it will come be 33 million naira each in order for them to allow them to continue on their farming and also their harvest during the season. All right, my great and wonderful people. Now, only this one will take from this very message you know why because the more we they take this message the more our heart the bitter concerning this very information and what did they make the matter worse to us not pass because this band they don't they hide them at all that they come out they kuro kuro afternoon like this whole song without any shade or cover they review their intention 
and without it be saying nobody, they challenge them at all. They see themselves as the final authority, waiting they talk now in this stand. And truly, now so it is stand. Today, they will come tell us that we get government for inside this country. And all these people, when they call themselves APC and PDP, they did they busy about to say that they go for election. They see the campaign for Nigerians to vote for them. Abi, they want to continue from where this Azul Buhari stop. Now here, this Azul Buhari stop. The place where it be say bandits now equal they give final order by the day. Now here, Buhari for stop. Now in Amebola Tinibu want to continue from. Now in Atiku Abubaka want to continue from. Now where Buhari stop now in be this. We just come here to review this very one. Although this one are one among the millions of problems when we get today. Abi? All right. Now, so we we'll talk about this concerning this matter. We'll leave you, make you share your own opinion with us on the comment section because this will not be a new thing to each and every one of us again. But we'll still continue to do the echo so that each and every one of us when we say we never day aware, it will de enter our body like dues. All right. Share your opinion with us on the comment section. Even as we leave you to watch this next video, we will come back for the conclusion. Yes, is that the whole thing is, is happening. Having served for 35 years, and you see your younger ones that are coming out of the system just yesterday, having paid this money, and we are here suffering, having served for 35 years. Now, look at some of our senior brothers here. Even if I am at least more than 60 years today, we have some elderly ones amongst us these 10 years that are more than 80 years plus. Now, for them to have come to this place because of lack of the payment of this FDA and the minimum wage, the president is a veteran. That minimum wage arrears that was approved, he has gotten his alert. The national security advisor has gotten his alert. The current serving city honorable minister of defense gets its alert and they are not in the vein and in the dilemma that you see all of these elderly personnel that are like this and now we say pay the SD. they have read series of meetings we have not gotten feedback we need feedback we started to write letters Despite the downpour in Abuja in the earlier on Monday, military veterans under the aegis of the retired members of Nigerian Armed Forces and the coalition of concerned military veterans has taken over the entrance of the Ministry of Defense over the non-payment of your security, the bomb and allowance, among others. Recalling the aggrieved retired military men had in January 2022 protested at the Ministries of Finance, Defense and the National Assembly to express the same grievances. While expressing concerns about why the serving officers have gotten their own allowance without paying the retired personnel, the National Secretary, Ambassador Roy Okidiabie, accused the Minister of Defense, retired Major General Bashir Magashi, of the refusal to commence disbursement of SDA despite the approval of President Muhammadu Bari. All right, my great and wonderful people, this will not be shocking issues. Abi, you know, when we see video like this, something they think our mind. Say, I be these people, these governments, these people, so they don't get hearts, they don't get feelings. Their conscience not even there alive at all again. See old men, aging fathers. When they say they don't use their youthful age to serve the nation. A lot of them, I believe before this very time, they sustained a lot of injuries, either for gun, from gun, or from armed robber, or in one way or the other, during their service. And by God's grace, they survive. At this their age. Even though, say, the government not even want to think about anything about these people, at least consider their age. For this age of these people, they will sit there under the sun and the rain. They beg you for their salary when you not be free. At least, he gets some things when he say you will reason now. Uh, you, you, will, you will just push him aside say it don't really matter. Not be something like this. At least. At least. Aging people like this. You not consider them. This one at the time when he say they need to relax. Enjoy the dividends of their labor. 
Not be said they're not even labor at all. They're not come to beg you. Because you say they're not labor. They're not do something down. They just come, come beg you. No. They labor for this very uh, a salary won't be said that they request from you now. And now their own rights. You still stand dead. They deny them. And you they wear a bad day in your comfort zone. They enjoy your own salary. Just as you hear that man just now. That they receive their own portion. And they deny all those people own. Not be say in Okukuma day. You not reach them and you not reach these people. No, you do enjoy your own. You know when your own did you. You know when to remove them. But others people own, you not consign you. Whether they want to die, may they die. And it will interest you to know when they listen to us now, when they say it's still they rally around this APC and PDP. When they say their vow say they will continue from where this administration stop. The no majority of these old men and these old women, when they say they don't die. During this process, we start to be said they don't receive this uh, money, this very salary. They don't receive this gratuity. They don't receive this pension money. They die for suffer. They die. They struggle to drink Gary. Whereas then, they eat their own four square meal a day, even more than four times, according to their own desire time and season. And these people, they will borrow money, pay transportation, Come, consistently for gates like beggars, and that they take pleasure in it. That they seal them through their own television from their various offices, and that they sit down, they enjoy the comfort of the sufferings of others. I don't know, Nigerians, at least something supposed to motivate or modify our mindset to think right sometimes. Because sometimes when we, when we say we see videos like this, tears they roll down from our own hearts. Not be our faces. More than our faces. Yes. More than our physical face. When we see situations like this, aging fathers, when we say they don't use their own time, their own time to serve the nation, their own time to dedicate their effort and their energy to serve this nation. Now that the day under the sun and rain like this, this will not be mockery. Now mockery to the age of these people. Now mockery to the entire time when we say that they devote to the service of this nation. Now mockery to them. All right. Now so we'll talk about concerning this matter. We just showcase all this video so that each and every one of us, when we say we see the rally around these people, may our mind be enlightened. Yes. All right. Share your opinion with us in the comment section. We will draw the line here. We will see you again when we see you. Remember, we love you all. Bye-bye.